Hey, well, welcome everyone. Um, my name is Jason Ferguson, and I'm the Marketing Director at New Horizons Insurance Marketing in Decatur, Illinois. And uh, today we have Aaron with Agent Methods. Aaron started Agent Methods in 2009 to provide independent insurance agents with the tools they need to grow their sales online. After a decade consulting with many of the nation's largest insurance carriers on their websites and online marketing, he's turned his focus to helping independent agents compete in an increasingly digital world. Thousands of senior market agents have taken their business online with Agent Methods. And today, Agent Methods is recognized as the premier website and online marketing platform for independent insurance agents. So with that, I'd like to just hand it over to Aaron, and we've got a lot to cover today. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Jason. I, I, I appreciate you having us here today. We are talking about the big AEP prep that happens every summer as we all gear up for the Medicare enrollment period. And of course, that's, that's a crunch time. That's, that's a time when everybody is super busy. And so this is our chance to, you know, to, to, uh, to do that prep, to, to make the most of that, oh, it's what, about seven weeks that happens every year. Um, and the more preparation we do now, the better, the better off it will be during AEP. So, you know, to that point, let's, uh, you know, let's kind of commit, let's, let's use this time to focus because we're going to talk about things you can do, you know, before, during, and after AEP to make it the best possible. So take a second, I'd say, you know, close out your email, um, you know, put away distractions, maybe grab a pen and paper, and, uh, you know, if any thoughts or ideas, you know, so you can jot down some notes. And, of course, you know, I, I love this Zoom technology where we can all you know, get together remotely. But it, uh, you know, it makes two-way communication hard. And so I do, you know, I am interested in what people are thinking. So as you're listening to me talk, if, if you have a question or an idea or a comment, um, you know, you can use the, the, um, the questions box or the chat in Zoom just to send messages back and I'll, I'll do my best to keep an eye on that as I go. Um, I do get tunnel vision. And so if you send a question, I, I don't answer it right away. I'll make sure at the end, it takes some time to, to get through any questions that pop up. Um, so with that, let's, let's dive in. Um, just really quickly, this, you know, most important thing here is this, you know, that's a picture of me. As I mentioned before, Zoom is great, but face-to-face -face is, is better. So if we're, if we're ever in the same room, if, if you know, there's, industry events and conferences and, you know, happening at the same Starbucks, come say hello. I'd, I'd love to meet you in person. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's been happening more and more and it really, you know, it really is great just to connect and, and get to know you uh, face to face. Um, I'm a total introvert. I'm a wallflower. So I'll be hiding behind a, you know, if it's a conference, I'll be hiding behind a plant. So um, come make that first move and say hello. And, and you know, even though I'm hiding, I, I, I do want to say hello. So that's the important thing here. Uh, agent methods, just really quick background. We launched in two, and we started building in 2008, launched in 2009 with the goal of, of helping independent agents you know, grow sales online and use technology, use the web to expand your business. And let's see, I see a message that says no sound. Um, just making sure my sound's working. J you know, Joseph or Jason, do you hear me yeah, talking? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so maybe, maybe um, that person just needs to get connected. Um, okay, well, um, maybe hopefully they can figure it out. So, um, you know, since we launched, you know, we've we've helped over five thousand agents take their businesses online, launch websites on the platform that we've built, and this has been a um, you know just a great chance for us just to you know to pay attention, to watch, and to learn. And so over this you know almost. 15 year period, you know, we've, we've gotten to see a lot of really successful agents and we've gotten, you know, really inside kind of bird's eye view of, of what they do differently to make themselves successful. We, we bake that into our platform. So everything we learn, you know, we, we, we build, uh, but also I'm going to talk about, you know, some of the things that, that we see those agents do today. So, you know, this isn't just something that, you know, we're theorizing on. This is really best practices of agents that, you know, are doing really well. A uh, quick question. Um, you know, thinking about last year, last year's AEP, uh, you know, the, the past couple of years have really been, you know, year after year of curveball. You know, we had the 
COVID lockdowns in 2020 and that extended into 2021. Um, you know, and, and I think last year, some people started, you know, getting face to face, but, you know, we, we've been doing business has changed. And so, you know, take a second, maybe send a message and, you know, how was, how was AEP last year? You know, busy, you know, definitely. I think it's always busy. Um, you know, online meetings, you know, those of you that, that meet face to face, lots, lots of driving, lots of, uh, oh, call recording. Cannot forget about call recording. Um, so yeah, last year had some, you know, some curveballs. The market's growing. You know, the carriers are changing. The players are changing. Um, you know, certainly CMS last year had some new regulations that, that uh, you know, caused some scrambling as we prepped for AEP. Um, and I think, you know, a lot of that stuff was, was hard going in. Call recording was hard going in. But, you know, this year, you know, we, it's, you know, people aren't complaining about it anymore because we figured it out. And it's, you know, it's kind of interesting to see that when curveballs come, we adapt and then it becomes part of our operating system. So this year, you know, there, there are, you know, there are some, some risks we have to be thinking about, you know, things, things that are going to be affecting us. Of course, you know, the first one is, uh, you know, losing clients to competition. Um, you know, there's, there's new competition there you know there's certainly lots more online brokerages there's more call centers there's more direct to consumer um, that are you know kind of trying to get your clients to go to them instead we don't want that you know retention is you know is step 1 for the successful AEP the the second is that because this is such a, a short time frame everything you do that's not talking to a customer or a prospect that's not, you know, enrolling a, a customer in a in a Medicare plan, is is time valuable time that's taking away from those things, and so, uh, you know, wasting time and money, you know, doing things that aren't selling. So, that's a risk because it's such a such a crunch time. Um, you know, we, time is the most valuable resource during the AEP. Uh, renewals, you know, renewals are at risk. You know, this year. Um, you know, as as the landscape changes, as plans change, as rates change, um, you know, making sure that your customers don't, you know, don't go elsewhere, that you keep these renewals. And these are a risk, you know, this is not new. This is every year. Uh, you know, we do have some new compliance rules, maybe some new old compliance rules. And the rules this year don't seem like as big of curveballs as the call recording was. Um, but my my insight into this is that even though they're not you know big technology changes, if you don't plan for these compliance rules that are in place this year, it's going to create a lot of scrambling, a lot of busy work, um, you know, a lot of kind of clutter that's going to take time away from being efficient. We need to manage those rules, and then you know rapid disenrollment. I'll talk more about this in a minute. That has been you know, a big issue. This is this is when people buy a plan and 30 days later they you know they cancel it you know, when they switch via OEP. Um, and there are some things this year that I think make this less of an issue for us to worry about than past years. So that's that's some good news. Um, so I'll talk more about that in a second. But first, there's a you know a few more things I think that are that are that are making AEP challenging. Um, you know, the first one is just how you know, senior behavior is changing. There's lots of data that shows us how seniors are becoming more and more techie, more tech savvy. Um, you know, this vision that, that seniors are, are not techie is kind of an antiquated vision. Um, this is, uh, you know, showing you how much seniors spend each year on average on, on technology. And so it might be a computer or, you know, a phone or a tablet or tech like that. In 2019, you know, it was a little less than $400 on average. In, in 2022, that's more than doubled, more than doubled. And that's, you know, you know, that's obviously not just inflation. Seniors are spending almost a thousand dollars a year now on acquiring new technology. And this comes from AARP. And this, you know, this tells you, you know, people are putting their money where it's important to them, that they're going out and they're retooling, they're buying better computers, they're buying better phones, better tablets. And it's because technology more and more is the is is a primary part of their lives 
you know, this is something that they are willing to spend money on because they use it every day. Um, you know, 15% of seniors use technology 10 hours a day or more now. And so this idea that they're not online or not tech is just, just not true anymore. This is, this is part of their lives. This comes from Google. This is um, searches for Medicare Advantage on Google, going back to 2004. And you can see, you know, first off the spikes, those spikes are AEP. So, you know, every year it spikes, but you know, the spikes have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger. In 2021, it was a 30% jump. And you know, so we've really seen, you know, this, you know, this shows you how more and more consumers go online first when they're thinking about AEP, Medicare Advantage plans, and related plans. The, the spike actually starts in September. So I don't have the months on this graph, but it's not just October, November, December. It starts in September, and that's because seniors know about AEP. They know what happens in the fall. They kind of forget what date starts. They forget kind of what the rules are, what they can do, what they can't do. But they start to wonder before AEP even starts what they should be doing. And that behavior, and we can see that in these search, search reports, tells us that you know, AEP doesn't just begin when AEP begins. It actually has a kind of a secret beginning that starts in September. And we need to make sure that we're doing things before AEP to engage our customers because they're going online, they're looking for answers to questions, and we want to make sure that you know they don't they don't go somewhere else. So you know that's a rising graph. Another rising graph is the rapid disenrollment rate, and this this data comes from CMS. You know, it goes through twenty twenty one. I don't have twenty twenty two data yet. Um, I find it to be no coincidence that this you know, this graph, you know, first off, it rises to a point where seventeen percent of people are are changing their plan thirty days after buying. That is not a good thing. You know, that means that they aren't happy with what they bought. They feel like they sold something that shouldn't have been, or they're pressured into buying something they, they, they didn't want, or what they were promised isn't what they got. And 17% is, that's kind of a house on fire um, percentage. That's it's way too many. And obviously none of us want this. We, you know, we work so hard to help our customers. We wanna make sure that the plan they buy is the right plan, that they're happy and satisfied, and they feel like they're in a good position and they, they don't cancel. Um, this really, you know, this data isn't broken down by how people bought, um, but I think we all know that this problem, you know, maps with the rise in insure tech and it maps with the rise in call centers. And, you know, these aggressive marketing tactics that we've seen with insure tech and call centers to try to get customers to switch to them is, you know, a big part of the root of this issue. And, um, you know, it's also what's causing CMS to make a lot of the regulation changes. In, in SureTech, you know, they, they're not getting money the way they used to. So I think they're going to be spending less this year than in the past uh, because of their high churn rate. They're having a hard time kind of, you know, even making the sales numbers they, they promised. Um, but we're still feeling the regulations that CMS is putting in place. Um, you know, this, this year, the, the new 48-hour rule you know, that's, um, you know, to make sure that you can't just call people and send them a scope and then, you know, have them swap plans. That's, you know, that rule may be a headache, but it's really there to protect consumers and to make sure that, you know, they're not pushed into a sale that they didn't expect to, to make. Um, and it benefits independent agents. And so this is why I think that we're going to see rapid disenrollment, you know, as a problem go away. And it's probably, you know, really good news for all of us because, as an independent agent, you're, you're already trying to make sure that your customers' needs are, are met and they have the right plan. So that's why I think that's less of a risk this year. So I mentioned that AEP really starts secretly in September. And so there are some things we need to think about doing before October kicks around. And the first one is, is to start to proactively reach out to your customers. And so make sure, you know, because they're going to start to wander in September, they're going to, if they don't hear from you or don't get information from you, they're going to go to Google and start searching, which could lead them elsewhere. And so the, you know, the first thing is to make sure that you're proactively reaching out to your customers to 
to connect with them, you know, let them know what's coming up, let them know, you know, not the, the details of plans and the things that you know, you're not able to talk about yet, but just what the timelines are, um, what the, kind of the rules of engagement are for AEP and that, you know, you're going to be connecting with them, you know, to make sure they have the right plan during AEP. So they don't worry and they don't go somewhere else. Um, it's also a chance to, um, you know, remind them that, uh, you know, if they get some spam um, or, you know, somebody's kind of pushing them, you know, to not, to not be tricked into going somewhere else. So reaching out. Um, and the second is, uh, you know, to educate your customers on, on what to expect to, to make sure that they, you know, they're being informed and educated from you. Um, and by hearing it from you that, that, you know, establishes the connection. It reinforces the value that you provide because they're, they're remembering, yeah, you know, this agent didn't just sell me something. They make me smarter. You know, they, they educate me. Um, and it reminds them, you know, quite honestly, you know, if it's been a year, they, they might not remember your name or, you know, they might not remember how to spell it or what the name of your agency is. And so you want to just remind them that, you know, last year they got a good product. They got, they bought the right policy. Um, and that, you know, you're the person they go to for help in the future. So we need to kind of prep the, the process, you know, starting in September to make sure that your customers have that sense of security and relationship. So when October comes around, um, you know, they're not at risk. So then during AEP, a couple things. Uh, the, the first is that you need to make it easy for your customers. And ultimately, if a customer wants to talk to you, if they, if they want to do a review, you want to make sure it's really easy for them to schedule meetings with you so that there's, you know, they're able to get the problem solved to, so they can know the date and time and location of your meeting without a bunch of back and forth. And so I'll talk more about that. This is, this is a great place for automation to really streamline the process for you and provide a better experience for your customers so that they know they're taken care of. Of course, we have the 48 hour rule. Um, you know, on paper, it's really simple. You just get a scope 40 hours before the meeting. Um, and then you know, the last four days of enrollment, you, you, that rule goes away. So you can, you, can, you can do meetings without waiting 48 hours. Um, in practice, without a system in place, without some tools to help you manage this, it's gonna create some chaos. It's gonna create some um, busy work. And you know, kind of at worst case, it's gonna create appointments in your calendar that don't comply with the 48 hour rule. And then once you're within 48 hours of that appointment starting, you can't book it with somebody else because they won't comply either. And so that will create wasted time. And every hour lost during AEP is an hour you don't get back. It's a lost opportunity. And so having a system in place to manage this 40 hour rule, while it's simple in, in, in idea, um, making sure that you have a way to manage it in practice is gonna be really critical so that you're not having to cross-reference you know, between your calendar and your, your scope appointments, you know, if you have paper scopes or fact scopes or text scopes or scopes in your agency management system, doing that cross-referencing is going to be a headache and it's going to result in just some chaos and um, meetings that, you know, don't comply and therefore you, you can't have. And then after AEP, um, having a, a solid plan in place to, to do a couple things, to, to um, you know, reinforce the value that you brought to your customers and, and what to do if they have questions or need help or aren't sure how to use their plan uh, because there still is OEP to worry about. And then having a plan to build relationships for, for the next year so that um, when October, 2024 comes around, you're in a really, really solid position to maintain those renewals um, and you know, increase your referrals and make sure that your customers know you love you, trust you, have good relationships with you, so you're, you're, you're positioned long-term for success. Insurance is, you know, it's a business that it's, it's a get rich slowly game. You sell customers every year and you build your book of business over time, you know, sale by sale, brick by brick. And so retention is super important in seeing long-term success here. Um, and then of course there's cross marketing opportunities. So you, you know, you're having these customer relationships and they probably have other needs that you can help them with over the course of the year next year. And once somebody's bought from you once, the chance that they buy from you twice or more goes up a lot. And so this is a, just a, you know, a great way to help your customers 
but also make some additional sales of things that your customers might need. So having a plan in place, you're not going to have time to do this, to put this plan in place in November or December. And in January, it has to be live. And so you really need to have this plan in place now. You need, you need to have all of the um, pieces together and ready to go out in January because you're going to be just too busy and then too tired to get it together after that. It's just not going to happen. So it has to be done now. I, I talked to lots of agents and you know, I, I think about you know, marketing, which is you know, our world, of a, you know, a 12-month calendar. So um, you know, there's an enrollment that happens. People buy a plan and then you know, usually a year later, there's a renewal. So that goes on. And in between that, of course, there are 12 months that go by a whole year. And so I think about, you know, what is the plan for marketing, you know, over the course of this year? How are you staying in touch with your customers? How are you engaging them, communicating with them, showing them the value you provide, building up your relationship? Um, and when I ask agents, you know, what I usually get is sort of this, sort of a, well, I, you know, I, I like to talk to my customers. I'm, I'm there for them if they need me. And so, you know, sometimes they'll call me with questions and they always can. Um, I do a newsletter, you know, sometimes, you know, but I, I get busy. So, you know, it's kind of sporadic. Um, I did an email campaign last year through MailChimp. You know, it was great, but it took a lot of time. And so I don't have any more scheduled. And so usually the plan is kind of, kind of scattershot. It's like you get out what you can, when you can, but it really isn't consistent. And it really isn't, isn't stable. And the truth is that while your intentions are great, without a stable marketing plan, without a marketing plan that's going to run like clockwork, that's going to create a bunch of risk for you, where your clients are, are going to feel like they're, you know, they're not hearing from you, they're not supported, um, you're not building the relationship you need to, you're certainly not taking advantage of cross-sale opportunities, you're not taking advantage of referral opportunities, and you're putting renewals at risk. So having a plan for all months of the year is really, really important. I think the plan consists of a couple things. You know, the first is pre-AEP outreach. You know, this starts you know almost right now. Um, you know, starting to make sure that people are hearing from you. They know how to reach you. They know what to expect. Certainly in September, you know, warming them up to AEP, um, giving them a way to schedule appointments with you and kind of get locked in, um, so they can meet with you. You know, before and during AEP, post AEP outreach. Uh, you know, this is the how to uh, get help if you have questions, how to use your policy, um, you know, questions about looking at providers, looking up, you know, benefits, making sure that they know they go back to you, making sure they understand the value that you provide in the sale is not just making a sale and kind of filling an application, but there's, there's support that you can offer as well. And that's really key for retention, you know, for avoiding that, that, um, I call it the OEP switcheroo. The official name is rapid disenrollment during OEP. And then you know, the last piece of the plan is that year round. And so this, this consists of staying in front of your customers in a good, positive, engaging way that educates them, informs them, sometimes entertains them, and uh, really shows them that you are bringing value to your customer, to them, you know, beyond just what you sold them. And that's really key because that that helps them see the benefit, you know, not just a product, but they're getting some knowledge and some specialization and support and focus by working with you. They wouldn't get through a call center. Super important. Um, it also helps them feel aligned with you. So if you're building a relationship with them, if you're sharing content that's educational, informative, and engaging, it shows that you care about their needs, not just in selling a product, but you care about them in a greater sense. And that you're aligned with you know with their interests and what's important to them. And that really brings about loyalty and you know causes them to stay with you, but also causes them to to become a fan and to start to refer their friends and their family to you. And so having this year-round value add, um, you know, it's it's silent, sort of this silent benefit that is is so key. And we see that you know agents that are really successful, you know, always have a plan to do this. So, you know, theoretically, that's what we're talking about. Um, let's talk about how you can 
do all of this because you're probably listening and thinking, oh, great, Aaron. Yeah, all this makes sense. I know all of this, but how do I do it? It's going to be a lot of work. And the truth is to go and build this year on marketing plan to put together you know, a, a pre-AEP campaign to educate your customers about what to expect and then to automate, you know, to, to go out and reach out to them during AEP and after. It is a lot of work. And so I, I'm going to talk about you know, how agent methods, how our platform helps agents like you, you know, agents that are focusing on the senior market, selling Medicare plans, take advantage of a bunch of automations to make their enrollment periods run really smoothly and you know before, during, and after. And I'll go through the, the components of our system, the automation components that do this. The, the first and the most important is our scheduler platform. And this, it, you know, it's, it's, almost, it's almost magic. Scheduler is it's a, it's a digital personal assistant that reaches out to your prospects, reaches out to your customers, you know, when it's appropriate, and it books appointments for you. So during AEP, customers you need to talk with, it will reach out to them and put them on your calendar. It's like having an assistant that goes and tracks them down. If you have new leads, if you're buying leads, if you, if you are buying leads, it will reach out. You know, of course, you're going to call them, but it's also it's going to try to set appointments. If somebody goes to your website and reaches out to you, it will follow up with, with appointment campaigns. And it, you know, it, it takes the place of almost a full-time person to go and manage your calendar. The, the process it follows is it's got these different components, the first of which are invitations that go out to um, invite people to meet with you when it's appropriate and to educate them on why they should and, and reinforce the value of meeting with you. That then goes to online scheduling where they can schedule an appointment with you. And if it's a Medicare appointment, it will capture a digitally signed scope of appointment form. And then it will remind them of the appointment follow up with reminders to make sure that they attend and they show up and that they're prepared and that you don't have no shows or gaps in your calendar. And a little more, more detail. Um, so the invitation series, you know, you have a list of people you want to meet with during the AEP. And so our scheduler sends out a series of emails that, that you know, we have pre-built and ready um, and text messages if you have permission to text that person. And, um, you know, starting in October, October 1st, we start to invite them to meet with you. And you know, so they get these messages and they run over the course of AEP. So if, if they ignore the first one or two or three or four, we make sure that, you know, as it gets to December, you know, we're, we're doing our best to, to get them on the calendar and, and remind them of the deadline that's coming up. Uh, text messages you know, does have um, more stringent rules, um, but it's also, you know, it is a superpower. And so getting permission to text your customers, um, you know, can be a little bit hard to do, but when you do it, the results are amazing. We see a 98% open rate with text messages and a 90 second response time. And so what, you know, what this is, is you, you've seen it, you know, a text message comes in, your phone buzzes. You pick it up, you look at it, you take action. And so customers that have, you know, have text messages, you can reach out to them and get them to book appointments almost instantly. You know, we see this, you know, when October rolls around, the text messages go around, go out and you know, within minutes, the calendar start to fill up because of this. And of course, there's a lot of rules around email and text. And so we handle the opt-outs and unsubscribes to make sure that you're not messaging people you shouldn't be. Um, so then they're taken to an online calendar and this is a, you know, a calendar system that runs on our platform that integrates with all of the major calendar systems. So if you use Google's calendar or you use Microsoft, you know, like Outlook or Exchange or Office, or if you use Apple's calendar, we're going to, um, synchronize your free busy time, your availability. So if you already have an appointment booked or if you have a dentist appointment or a haircut or a lunch meeting, we're not gonna double book you. And then we're gonna put those appointments directly on your calendar so you can just go there and manage them. Um, you know, what, what this does is it makes sure that your, your days are super structured and organized and um, go really smoothly because you know, we're just setting them up with appointments. 
Um, if you're meeting online, so if you're using a system like uh, Microsoft Teams or Zoom, we'll also create a personalized web meeting link for that meeting so that we know it's a secure meeting. Um, you can use recording for that meeting if you, if you want to do that. Um, and it really is kind of a one-to-one -one link just for that person. For Medicare, um, we capture a scope of appointment. And we also help you track compliance with the 48 hour rule. And so, um, you know, there's a couple things I'll show you in a second. Um, but, you know, we're making sure that you have these signed at least 40 hours before the, 48 hours before the meeting. We um, automate reminders. So if, if um, somebody doesn't sign a scope or if they add their spouse and their spouse didn't sign their scope, we're going to remind them, follow up with them to get those scopes signed. And you know, those reminders do remind them of why they have to do it at least four hours before the appointment. And then you have a dashboard that shows you which meetings are in compliance, which ones are at risk, and which ones don't comply. And that dashboard you know, saves you from having to cross-reference and you know, look up every person against your calendar to make sure you have the scope on time. Um, and so it, you know, it gives you a very, very streamlined, simple system to manage compliance, you just will make your weeks a lot smoother. So you can use it for a couple different things. I mentioned, you know, scheduling for AEP. You can use it for, um, you know, when people go to your website. So you know, they might fill out a form on your site, or you might have a landing page. You know, if you're doing advertising, you might direct people to pages like this. You know, through you know direct mail or through pay-per-click advertisements, where people go and fill out. Um, you know, new lead requests. We then follow up with those using email and text message. And so people will start to get those, you know, as soon as AEP opens up. And, you know, if it's a new lead, they can get you know, an instant auto reply to schedule a meeting with you. And then there's a whole sequence that's built that will go out over the course of the period um, to get people to schedule. Once they, they get those messages, they're taken to an online calendar, they pick a time, um, they enter their information in, they e-sign the scope of appointment. And so they, you know, they sign this, if they, you know, if they add, you know, a friend or a spouse, we will reach out to them as well to get those scopes signed. So they get emailed and texted with links to sign their scope. And then you have this really, really easy dashboard that shows you exactly who does and does not comply with the 48 hour rule. And so you can see once, you know, once somebody signed the scope and they comply, you get that green check that you're good. Um, if it's less than 40 hours away and they don't have a scope, um, you get the, you know, no scope on file. And so you know that you cannot talk to them about Medicare plans. If it's more than 48 hours away and there's no scope on file, they're kind of at, you know, there's the warning, the yellow warning sign. So you know that those, prospects and customers are at risk and you know as your aep gets really busy if you start to have hundreds of appointments you know we've we've had agents who have you know have booked you know 400 appointments um right away using our system you know there, there's no way you can keep track of all of that and so this this gives you a really simple way just to know who's in compliance with the 48 hour rule this is uh, this is Sean. He's an agent who um, you know, uses our scheduler, and I talked to him on October fourteenth last year, which is usually a crazy day. And he was relaxed and, and happy. And our scheduling system had scheduled over four hundred four hundred sales appointments with him already on October fourteenth for AEP, and so his calendar was organized and full and good to go. He was happy. And of course he said, you know, scheduling gives me more time. That makes sense because it, it takes, you know, that chasing people down off, the, off of his plate. But he also said something that was really interesting, which is scheduling automation makes my customers more satisfied. I hadn't really thought about that until he said this, but it makes a lot of sense that by being able to go and, and self book appointments, your customers it's easier for them to work with you. It, you know, they don't have to send you an email or fill out a form or, or get on the phone 
There's no back and forth. They just know it's taken care of. And I think about, you know, my, like my car, I used to have to call the oil change place to go get an appointment. And I actually changed where I go because another place has online scheduling and I don't have to call. I can just go on their website, find the time that's good for me, book it, and then show up. And so in that case, you know, I changed who I work with because of online scheduling. And I think that we're all experiencing that this now, you know, certainly with, with restaurant reservations, if you can do it on their website as opposed to call, it's better. With you know, haircuts, if you can do it online, um, you know, self-service, it's easier for all of us. And the same thing is true with insurance agents, insurance sales in your business. It's, it's something that customers are showing a strong preference for. So that's just really interesting. So that's, you know, the scheduling part of it. Um, let's talk about the relationships, you know, kind of before, during, and after. How do you use automation to educate, engage, communicate with your customers? And so this is what the Agent Methods platform does. The, the first thing is that, you know, that monthly, how do you stay in touch with your customers? We, we create and send a monthly email newsletter to all of your contacts. And so your contacts hear from you in a great engaging way every single month. You don't have to lift a finger. This just lands in their inbox. Now, if you want to, if you have something that you wanna focus on or, or customize, you can go in and do that. But the idea here is that when you get busy, when you're on vacation, your customers are still going to hear from you, see your name, see your logo, see your phone number, and see it in a way that's, that's helpful to them, engaging and adds value. And we see that you know, these newsletters, the, the open rates are, are sky high. They, you know, they get amazing open rates because it's content that's relevant to your customers. And the result of this is that by getting these emails every month, when your audience has an insurance related question, or if they have a referral, you're right there. And it's easy for them to reach out to you or to send on your information to somebody else. And so you're building relationships, but you're also um, increasing the connections you have with, with your customers. The next thing we do is we do automated social media posts. And so every business day we post out to Facebook and LinkedIn and we share content that um, we're not pushing products, we're not pushing quotes or sales, we're trying to get you into the conversation. So this is content that shows up on, you know, posted under your account and your behalf that is relevant to your customer base. And it's the kinds of things they care about and it puts you into the conversation. So when they go onto Facebook to look at, you know, friends vacation photos and family baby pictures and that stuff, they're gonna see interesting things from you as well. And it kind of reminds them that you're there, but it also shows them that you're aligned with the kinds of things that they care about. And that really does you know, kind of reinforce that, that relationship that you have with them. And it's totally automated um, every business day. Automated cross marketing campaigns. And so we have a, a marketing automation system that you tell us what products you sell and then you connect connect with your crm so if you use agency management or radius or zoho um, you can just sync back and forth or you can upload your contacts into our system and then we will go and automatically send out these cross marketing campaigns to them totally hands-free and um, and the result of this is that it brings you know brings in a steady stream of cross-marketing leads, but then also because our campaigns are, are um, seasonal and sensitive to the time of month, um, you know, we're already doing things like, you know, in September, we'll have those pre-AEP campaigns that explain what AEP is about, what the timelines are, we'll start to go out. And then during AEP, we'll explain, you know, what, what you can do during AEP. And then um, during January, during OEP, we have the campaigns that will remind people of the value that you provide and why they should go back to you if they have questions or if they're concerned about the product they've bought. That's all built into this process, um, totally automated so that it just goes out. Um, and then there's the cross-marketing campaigns that go as well. 
a few different topics, product edu education. You know, so we educate people on products, you know, on the changes in, you know, products, you know, every year, of course, Medicare plans change. And so we educate them on that. Um, but we also educate them on um, things that, you know, they might not know about. So they might have risks they're exposed to. So it might be, you know, dental or vision or final expense. And we find that educating people that these products exist is just good service, uh, but also leads to cross marketing. There's relationship building. We've got, you know, information about the benefits of an independent agent that you provide, um, referral request campaigns, um, support, how to get support from you. Um, and then of course, you know, besides AEP, if you sell healthcare, there's the uh, healthcare enrollment that happens in November and December as well. We've got campaigns for that. Um, it's all built in. And then weekly blog posts. So on your website, every week we post content that's engaging, informative, educational, not just about insurance. You know, we don't go too far away, but this is something you can, you can feature. It gets featured in your newsletter, it gets posted to social media, and it gives your customers a reason to come back to your site because there's something new and you know, it's, it's some interesting, it's gonna cause them to lean in and to care. And they're getting it from you, so it builds your relationship with them. So, um, you know, this this is a lot. I, I talked about the um, scheduling before, automated invitations, online scheduling, scope of appointments, appointment reminders that go out. When you put all these automations together, you know, this idea of what happens in that year between enrollment and renewal on the agent methods platform, it automates over 350 touch points. So you know, before AEP, during AEP, after AEP, all of these things are totally automated as well as all the online scheduling um, so that you don't have to go and create the content, run the marketing, do all the work. It's, it's, just, it's just built and runs for you. 350 sounds like a lot. And certainly to go and create these things, you know, it is at least a full-time job. It's like hiring a marketing person or even a marketing team. Um, but because it's multi-channel, because it happens through uh, social media, email newsletters, um, text messages, um, your blog, because it's multi-channel, it doesn't feel overwhelming. And instead, it makes your customers feel really well supported that no matter where they go, no matter how they want to interact with you, they're going to find that you're there, there's content there, that you're supporting them in the way they want to engage with you. Of course, all of this runs, you know, all of these automations, the, the heart of this is it runs on our website platform. The agent methods website platform was built from the ground up for independent agents. I mentioned before that you know, over 5,000 agents have launched websites on our platform. It is, you know, hands down the most advanced platform available to an independent insurance agent to, to run and manage your website. Even though it's advanced, you know, we understand that your focus all day long is not running a website. And so we've made sure that it's really, really easy to use and that um, you know, you're able to be successful without having to be a techie. Uh, so a few things in our platform. The, the first is a, a library of insurance content. We keep this updated. Um, you know, we work with CMS to make sure all of our content is updated annually, um, as well as life, health, P&C content. Um, if you do Affordable Care Act, and we keep that content updated, long-term care, things like the cost of care change every year. Um, and so you know that you have access to this content library to make sure your site is current, is, you know, is, is rich and supportive and provides um, the resources your customers are going to look for when they go to your website. Because it's built up from the ground up around your needs, there's there's lots in our platform. You know, there's lots we're going to go into, um, but all of the components that you need to be successful are built in. Um, we've got integrations with agency management systems, a library of quote forms, um, and maybe the most important thing, because our focus is 100% on independent insurance agents. Our support team, you know, there we have live US US based support who understands your business. And so when you say MAPD, they know what you mean. And they have read the Medicare marketing guide. 
and they know that you can't call yourself a Medicare expert because that's not allowed. And so when you work with our support team, they already understand your business and understand the problems that you, you face. So you don't have to go and teach them about this and you're going to get results. You're going to get to what you need a lot faster because of that. Maybe the most important thing about our platform is the results that agents get. And a few key ones, the, the first is that they spend about half as much time marketing, 47% less time on marketing each month. And so that's time that they get back to, um, you know, to help more customers or catch up on sleep, have some free time, spend time with your family. 60% increase in referrals. And this is because they're building relationships. And imagine what that would do to your business if you can grow your referral base by 60%. That's a game changer. 78% increase in cross sales. You know, these are customers buying multiple policies. And it's because of our automations that we go out and market these products. Cross sales are, are really an amazing thing because not only do you make an additional sale, once a customer buys two policies from you, they have made a decision and a commitment that you are their agent. And so they do not leave. They don't go anywhere else. And so cross sales are good for revenue, but even products like dental or vision that might not be high dollar products are really key to, to go and cross sell because they lock in your business and your retention. And then ultimately, when they're asked how their business is going, agents on the agent methods platform are 160% more likely to have had their sales increase in the past year. So their businesses are going dramatically better than their peers. So with all of that, I have talked a lot about AEP, some things we need to watch out for, things that we need to do before, during, and after AEP to position ourselves for success. A lot of stuff there. Um, but ultimately, you know, there is a, a platform you can put in place that will help you automate all of this and, and make this really easy for you. And so if you're looking at AEP, if you're looking at prepping for this year and you, and you want to grow your sales and you want to be able to be more efficient and spend more time with customers and see your sales go up, let's have a conversation. Let's talk about your business. Let's talk about what you're doing and what you need, who you sell to, um, and then go through how our platform might support you in, in achieving those goals. There is a, um, a special discount that, that Jason and, and New Horizons have, have got for agents that sign up um, that's worth $500, which is you know, real savings. And the way you take advantage of the discount is by going to agentmethods.com slash new dash horizons. Follow that link and schedule a conversation with us that will lock in the discount for you. And it will also give you a chance to really take a deep dive on your business and your marketing and see how you can use these automation tools to help you grow sales. I'd recommend doing that right now, going to agentmethods.com slash new dash horizons. Our calendar, as we get closer and closer to October, gets busier and busier. So you want to lock it in now, get on the calendar now so you have time you can choose the time that works for you and you have plenty of time to get all this stuff in place before AEP kicks off. So with that, I think I'm, I'm coming to the end. I have been keeping my eye on the Q and a box and I think everything that's coming has gotten answered, but if you have any questions, you know, please feel free to type them in through the, the webinar platform and we'll make sure we answer them or even better yet. If you have any questions, agentmethods.com, slash new dash horizons. Just pop over there and set up a time where we can really connect one-on-one. -on -one. So thank you. Jason, anything you want to say as we wrap up? No, just that, uh, you know, as someone who does marketing full-time, I can tell you this is a great platform because of all the stuff that you don't have to do. <laughs> uh, there are so many moving pieces to a marketing plan and it's just a lot for one person to do or even a small team. So uh, using automation in a platform like this really puts a lot, a lot of power in your pocket. 
I'm I'm with you on this. I often wish somebody made an agent methods for my business that we could just <laughs> plug <laughs> plug into. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. it's definitely worth a conversation if nothing else. So yeah, doesn't hurt to check it out in detail. It, it doesn't hurt and it locks in the discount if you decide you want to move forward and no matter what um, you know, you'll learn about these pieces you can put in place and you know, things that we all need to be doing to growing our business. So with that, let's wrap up uh, you know, again. Thank you, Jason and you know, the rest of the crew at new horizons for, for having us over. And you know, I, I look forward to connecting with you all. You saw my picture at the beginning. So for, you know, if we're in person comes to hello, I'll see you all soon. All right. Thanks, Aaron.